The Federal Reserve's job is to control your money, but really, they're trapped in a system that they can't escape. Every year, the US government spends way more than it brings in through taxes. Last year's deficit was over $1.7 trillion. Now, someone has to buy all that debt. Hi everyone, today we are going to make a simple animation. So this will be very helpful for the beginner After Effects users who want to make viral real animations. First of all, as you can see, this will be the starting scene. So I'm just going to, you know, head on to new, solid, select this, white, and hit OK. So we have got our background. Now, what we're going to do is bring our asset. Now I'll bring this building and put it on top of our solid. Hit S and bring the scaling down to somewhat this. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's a logo here. So I'm just going to bring the logo and also don't worry as all these assets will be in the description so you will be able to practice put this over here now we'll write this text the federal reserve's job is to control your money after this we are going to create this animation okay by the strings this currency is being hanged okay so first of all I'll bring a pen tool, okay, and make sure to change the stroke color to somewhat, you know, a bit grayish. Now let's make a line over here, okay, and then I'm going to bring my currency, hit S, and let's make it small, R for rotation, and we can put it over here make it small now i'll just select this and parent link it with our shape layer or our string now i'll just hit ctrl d to copy this put it over here okay hit ctrl d on this too to copy this and put this over here now i'll just simply select this and change the parent link to shape layer 2 Okay, so when we move this string, this will also move. And when we move this string, this will also move. Now select the shape layer and bring their anchor point to the top over here on both of them. Now I'll select both of them, head on to add, select, twist. Okay, to get that, you know, thread shape. I'll open this okay and change their properties after this is done as you can see in the starting animation it falls down okay and then goes out so now I'll right click now I'll head on to scripts and select my pounds CR you can just head on to YouTube and search for download bound CR script and select the video and in the description you will find their links okay to download this. So I'm going to use this now. Select the shape layers, hit P for position and put the keyframe in the start. Now go ahead somewhere here close and again hit the position keyframe okay and now at the starting keyframe we have to just bring it at the top select them position overshoot and then bounce it okay so as you can see you will get that bouncing effect and now we have to simply hit shift and r for rotation click on the rotation keyframes go ahead 15 frames okay and let's you know rotate them this towards this side plus 7 degrees and this will be minus 7 okay towards the opposite so they come towards each other okay and then again go here at one second mark and let's change these this one to minus 7 then this to 7 okay and now simply we'll just copy these two and paste it okay to 
get this effect but it's too fast so simply select these all okay these keyframes rotation keyframes click on alt and then drag these keyframes by holding them okay so they they will be equally spread out okay now you know this is looking like a uniform motion but we want to want it to be more random so what we can do is basically adjust the keyframes a bit okay so you know you can just play around with the keyframes as you can see it is looking a bit more random now now select these you know paper currencies hit p for position hold alt and click on this stopwatch icon to open the expression now we'll select wiggle okay and put the values 3 comma 10 okay so there will be a subtle movement in these you know paper currencies to give it that paper feeling okay so you'll get this effect now simply what i'll do is just copy this and do the same thing with this now and paste it over here so we'll get this on both the papers what happens is as you can see it's blurred behind okay and then when this cow goes out okay new text comes in and this becomes more visible so hit new adjustment layer select Gaussian blur and put it on this increase it okay put it here okay let's bring the text on top okay now as you can see it's blurred only this part now it hangs like this and after some time what i'm going to do is basically select our shape layers okay hit p for position go ahead and simply i'll just drag this out and this over here okay so it needs to be more dramatic so the whole scene should zoom in now new will bring in camera hit ok and then new null object let's rename this to cam control let's make everything 3d except the white solid and connect our camera to the cam control now somewhere around here i'm just going to select this p for position go ahead and let's zoom this in okay bring this down a bit f9 and then drag this towards the left so we'll keep this animation and we have to also select our adjustment layer okay select on this blurriness hit u go ahead so i'll just put another keyframe here and decrease the blurriness to zero now select this f9 and you'll see this animation okay now what happens is just before zooming in the previous te text goes out and the new text comes in but really they are trapped in the system they can't escape and now you can head on to effects and presets or to head on to animation preset use a preset sorry animation presets and inside text i will head on to animate in and then select fade up words and put it over here so you get this okay if you want to learn how to do this text animations manually you can see you know my previous videos okay in most of my previous videos i do the text animations manually to show you okay so you can just select uh, see one of those videos to learn the 
text animation manually or you can use it from here okay so i'll just select this and put it on this two okay and put this a bit forward okay now as you can see if you look properly there are some bars here okay like jail bars so what happens when this goes out these come in okay so i'm just going to bring them in hit s to bring the scaling down okay make sure to make it 3d2 and then let's align okay now after you know matching this up we simply have to you know select this hold y and drag the anchor point towards the top okay because the animation will be the jail cell will come from top to bottom okay so if the anchor point as is is at the top the animation will start from top okay so after this opens up somewhere around here hit s for scaling click on the scale parameters okay make sure this that this is you know deselected okay unlinked then go ahead and then go to the first frame and let's make this zero the y-axis okay so it will come down like this select this f9 okay and then you can just drag this towards the left so get this animation okay simple as that now we simply have to hit ctrl d bring it a bit forward okay i want to put this over here okay let me zoom this in so it fits properly okay now you get this effect it goes up a bit and then fades out and then this comes up okay so to do that animation simply we'll select the cam control hit p for position okay and then somewhere around here hit position keyframe again go ahead and drag this up okay select this and faster at the start slower towards the end okay and somewhere around the middle of this animation what we are going to do is cut this frame so select these all hit alt hit alt and right bracket okay so and now from this place i will bring the next png which is of the calendar put it here make it 3d bring it down let me hit s and make it smaller and now i'm just going to cut this from the start and match it over here okay so you'll get this animation okay continued if you want more fluidness you can just select your cam control and drag this out and after this okay just write this text okay this text just write it okay and this is the subtitle now to make the subtitle manually in after effects it's very easy i'll show you one line like every year the us okay let's do that right click new text i'll write here every 
now what i'll do is make this fill into a grayish color okay something like this now hit ctrl d to copy this and right click sorry op animate okay opacity make it zero open it okay and from here we want it to start so make the end to zero start 200 keyframe the end go ahead okay and make this 100 select this f9 drag this towards the left and open advanced make this to words now select the text layer on top remember we made two text layers so select the top one and then make this to dark black okay so as you can see over here let me select this hit t for opacity and decrease it like this okay now it, as you can see you'll get this text effect okay okay the same text effect but generally it is done in you know uh, apps like premiere pro or sometimes i do it in CapCut, but this is how you can do it manually so now to do the text animation on this and the paper turning animation so what we can do is basically okay i have you know written this text let me bring this on top okay and we have already created our shape layer just i'll bring this text and align it properly over here okay now to make this paper turning animation what we have to do is basically just make these two okay pre-compose by hitting ctrl shift c okay name this to page one and hit okay okay make this 3d again now just simply bring the effect page turn onto this make this classic reduce the fold radius okay and then increase the back opacity now if you turn this page as you can see the text along with the page is going out okay like this we can you know change the paper color a bit okay so you can differentiate so this is how you'll make the animation so simply now just click on the fold position go ahead again hit q and click on the fold position and at the end just drag this out so you know you'll get this animation okay so just repeat this animation for the next text too okay just again make another page two and pre-compose it and do the same animation like this okay so this is how we'll complete this animation and by that we have completed the whole animation hope you learned something new from this video see you in the next